Welcome back. So we begin our conversation today looking at this matter, the state of the nation, particularly these conversations back and forth about who's handling the project, who's commissioning, who started it, who didn't start it. Is that the focus of Nigerians? And to join, to begin the conversation, we have here in our studio, Ilemona Onoja, a member of the People's Democratic Party. Thank you for joining us. Thank you very much for having me. Okay, so what's this thing about your party feeling like the ruling party is only commissioning your project? Is that what Nigerians are really interested in? Um, as a Nigerian, there's a lot of interest in, in let's just have this, this infrastructure. Let's just have this project. Let's just be able to enjoy the benefits thereof. There's a lot of interest in that. And mm -hmm. I mean, even as a Nigerian citizen, myself a Nigerian, I just want to be able to have better roads, better um, airports, better seaports, better infrastructure generally. Having said that, this government got into office on the back of, and it has sustained itself in office on the back of, repeated accusations that my party, the PDP, didn't do any work for the period when it was in office. Um, the moment you say that and then you commission a project that was completed or was paid for or was sustained in office by my party or by a previous administration, you immediately put yourself in a place where we have to question your credibility, we have to question your capacity we have to question your, your, basically the very essence of your tenure in office, especially when you take into consideration that, um, again, that phrase, 16 years of PDP, nothing was done, where the roads, where the projects, and blah, blah, blah. But really when you say that, when you say that, and then you go ahead to commission the roads, or you say that, and then you go ahead to commission the projects, or you say that, or you go ahead to take glory for something that was done by somebody else. It, 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 I'm sorry, it's a talking point. Particularly going into a period where we are presenting Nigerians again with the opportunity, or we are presented with the opportunity to make choices again. Now, if you take into consideration, again, that off the back of record um, debt in the country and the questions as to what has been done with that debt, where the infrastructure that has been, you know, constructed with that debt over the last three years, it is a talking point. These mm -hmm. are talking points that we must have because Nigerians are coming into, I mean, next year we're going to go to another general election where we now have to make a choice. Do we want to go back to the people who gave us these projects or do we want to stay with the people who, whose only function in this, in this, thing is purchasing scissors and ribbons and then yeah, organizing commissioning ceremonies. You know, that, uh, yeah, you're talking about rhetoric, the back and forth and all, but one begins to wonder, I mean, the Nigerian people are more, cont are interested in getting this infrastructure they need every day to live yes, their lives. Fantastic. So how do you down claim um, glory for a project that's supposed to be completed in 18 months that lasted for over 16 years. I mean, or for about 16 years. I mean, going Which by the one? rhetoric Which coming one? from the... If we, let's be specific. Let me give you, let's talk okay. about specific examples, for instance. In 2014, as part of the process to revamp... The real estate. Air, 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 air travel. Air travel. And to rebuild our air travel infrastructure. The former minister, I think that, that even started in 2012. The former Minister of Aviation, who's currently a senator at the moment, um, Chief Mrs. Stella Odua, took, um, put in place a structure in, in conjunction with the former Minister of Finance, Mrs. Ngozi Okonjo-Iwela. They put in place a structure where Nigeria accessed a loan, $500 million from the Chinese Exim Bank. Mm -hmm. right? We paid counterpart funding of that for that of about $100 million, right? So it was supposed to, first of all, it was supposed to involve the construction of five primary airports and then the revamping of several others. Those things had a 48-month tenor. So whether or 48 not- 48 months? Yeah, it was a 48-month tenor. Okay. Four years. So if you calculate from when 
that was paid in January 2014. There are circulars that are all over social media, for instance, that show when the order for, for the payment of the counterpart funding was given. And then, you know, when that also confirmed that the counterpart funding had been, had been done. So basically, now, the structure that was used for that was it was an infrastructure loan. So you weren't getting the money. You were getting the value of the infrastructure to the tune of $400 million. You were getting the value of the infrastructure. The infrastructure wouldn't just pop up. It would be built. It was specifically constructed to fit into a 48-month window. If you check the date, you see that it's delivered almost right on time. Now, if a government had put that in place, had paid for it, had put a structure in place where regardless of whatever happened, the, the, the projects were being constructed, and the only way you could stop the um, construction of the project was that you had to pull out and lose your money. So basically, you're not doing anything to it. You're not contributing. The Buari administration did not contribute anything to these projects because the structure had been put in place, the project had been paid for, and it was running. Okay, all right, hold on there. Just hold your thoughts. We'll flip over to our Abuja studio. Glad to be standing by to get a response from the All Progressives Congress. Adjuri.